The world is becoming more militarized. President Donald Trump has requested a 10% boost in defense spending, China will have nearly doubled its military expenditures by the end of the decade, and, with the impetuous Trump occupying the White House, conflict zones from the Korean Peninsula to Syria seem more likely to descend into a situation where we have open warfare between major world powers than they did under the vigilant command of President Barack Obama. So let's take some time to review where the pieces on the board, the weapon systems, in this geopolitical game of chess are coming from. These are the top 10 countries that export the most arms, according to the authority on this topic, the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. Before we get into it, a few important points. The data does not include spending on support services for these increasingly high-tech systems, which is now the dominant aspect of military spending. Companies, some state-owned, are the primary providers of these weapons, and we're using the average of the five most recent years to give the rankings more stability. Israel's arms industry is ranked 10th. Its exports surged above 1.2 billion for 2016, three times what it was just two years earlier. A huge part of this is increased sales to India, Israel's biggest customer. For example, Israel's aerospace industries just finalized a deal worth 2 billion to provide India with air and missile defense systems. Ninth is Ukraine. Naval vessels were its primary military export until a contract with the Chinese dried up in 2015. Despite its ongoing conflict with Russia, Ukraine continues to sell it more and more arms. Aside from Thailand, the Indians and Vietnamese are also regular customers. Italy, the world's eighth leading arms exporter, does regular business with the United Arab Emirates. Leonardo SPA, Italy's leading defense contractor, recently cut a deal to sell the UAE eight of its brand new P1 Hammerhead unmanned aerial vehicles for $347 million. Seventh is Spain. Its defense industry is concentrated heavily around two key markets, aviation and shipbuilding. State-owned Navantia is in the midst of delivering three Hobart-class destroyers to the Royal Australian Navy. The first of the 147.2 meter ships is currently conducting sea trials as it nears completion. The UK is the world's sixth ranked arms manufacturer. Its largest defense contractor, BAE Systems, is the third largest in the world. It recently supplied the Royal Saudi Air Force with 72 Eurofighter Typhoons as part of a deal that guarantees the UK government 600,000 barrels of Saudi Arabian oil a day. The Germans have slipped from third to fifth in the last five years as Chancellor Merkel's government has blocked the sale of certain weapon systems to countries with questionable human rights records like Turkey, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and Brunei. Instead, it's selling more to allies like South Korea and Greece. Like the Germans, fourth-ranked France's arms exports also declined during the last five years. President Francois Hollande came under heavy pressure from his NATO allies to cancel the sale of two Mistral-class amphibious assault ships to the Russians due to the crisis in Ukraine. Those ships instead were sold to Egypt. China's third-ranked defense industry is surging, rising from the sixth position just five years ago. The Chinese understand that in geopolitics, controlling the sale of military hardware is often a government's most valuable bargaining chip. What's interesting is the Chinese don't, or can't, make sales to its global rival, the United States, or its regional rival, India. The only NATO nation China has ever exported arms to is Turkey, but even that stopped in 2013. Russia is second. Its main customer, India, now buys just half as many Russian-made weapon systems as they were buying five years ago, and overall, Russia's arms sales are down 30% from their peak. After Putin's actions in eastern Ukraine, the US, NATO, and their allies used a combination of tools, including sanctions, to punish Russia. But what this data seems to reveal is that their main game plan was leveraging their vast, combined network of weapons manufacturers to successfully block Russian companies from making large arms sales. Weapons account for 2.6% of Russia's total exports. That's by far the largest share of any country on this list. So when Russia's economy entered a tailspin in 2015, it was clear this strategy had worked. And the top weapons exporter is, of course, the United States. Six of the 10 largest defense contractors are American, including the top two, Lockheed and Boeing, which sell more than $60 billion in arms each year. Regardless of how you feel about America's military industrial complex, it's important to understand that dominating the world's arms trade gives the United States tremendous bargaining power to leverage and mold the affairs of the rest of the world. Thanks for watching. I hope this provided some valuable background on some of the issues in the news. Our previous video started some interesting debate about whether it's best to be expending resources to explore near or distant space. Until next time, for TDC, I'm Bryce Plank.